What's up, what's up? It's your boy, Corey B. So I want to talk a little bit more about the stock market and just talk about <laughs> we've been in a bear market uh, since pretty much mid-January, early February, kind of really, really kicked the bear market into like overdrive. Um, for those of you who don't understand the difference between a bear and a bull market, a bear market is where people are selling and a bull is where they're buying. Um, it, it's just, it, we're in an interesting time and there's a lot of things to account for. There's a lot of things that are changing in our, in, uh, society, in our economy. There's things that have been, um, on hold with different things going through the pandemic. There's been, you know, different factories and companies that, you know, were shut down or on hold and things like that. And there's also the thing that a lot of people aren't accounting for is just the idea that people have been in a state of panic, in a state of concern. As as people have been trying to get back into the job market and get back into the world and things like that, people are like, well, now that the world's back, opening back up, there, there was there was all over the nation, there was things going on with um, keeping people protected, so to speak, that, um, you know, whether you agree with it or not, uh, things were implemented to try to protect people. People couldn't be evicted, uh, electric bills couldn't be cut off. Um, th there was lots of things that they implemented to say, hey, we're in a, we're in a, we're a nation in crisis because of the pandemic, so we want people to stay home and not work, but while they're not working, we're going to not make them pay their bills. Well, the thing is, is over time, they were told that they wouldn't be evicted. They wouldn't, weren't told that the bills wouldn't rack up. So some of these roosters have come home to roost, so to speak. Um, people had been given um, stimuluses and stuff to try to help people compensate for their lack of income, but a lot of people use that money to just be comfortable. <laughs> I mean, sadly enough, I know people, I have a buddy who thought it was a great idea. He was like, I got pandemic monies. He went and bought some, uh, he bought some stuff for his car, an, an old car that he was fixing up. It wasn't even the, his, his daily driver. He bought some, I mean, he's a, he's a car guy, so he's got like several cars in his, at his house. I think he's, got upwards of like 18 cars or something like that. But he, he got pan, he called it pandemic monies. I got pandemic monies, man. So he, he bought a couple of guns, fixed up his car, did, you know, did stuff like that. Didn't utilize it to pay some bills. Um, he did dabble a little bit in the stock market. Um, okay. But the, the thing is, is that People did these things, okay? People just used them to, and just to be comfortable and just to do things. They're like, it's free money. No, it's not free money. Um, first of all, that money... Okay, that's, that's a whole other topic. I don't want to get too sidetracked with that. But the reality is, is even if you looked at it as free money, it was to help you survive and, and get through things and pay the bills that you weren't able to pay. Now, some other people chose it as an opportunity to dabble in the market, so to speak. They were stuck at home. They're like, I can't do this. I can't do that. Maybe I can multiply my money. Well, that's fine. You know, um, actually not even if you didn't need the money, it's actually a wise decision. As long as you did, you know, adequate amounts of research and knew what you were getting into, which unfortunately most people didn't. They chose to use YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Reddit. Um, they used all these their homeboy. Um, they used all these different, you know, methods to get, but not actual research. They didn't research the company. They didn't research the market. They didn't research what was going on in the world that would affect that business. What legislation might, you know, shift this business uh, up or down or to the left or right. Um, just, th there's a lot of things that people didn't consider. Um, and because they didn't know, they didn't know. Um, I encourage you if you're going to dabble in the market and I say the word dabble, because if you're going to dabble in the market, man, just take a, take some time and learn some things. And if you don't want to take that time, because really it's like a full-time job. I spend countless hours um, a day researching and reading and learning, and I've been doing it for years. Um, and I partner with people who have been doing it for years. Um, 
So I, I definitely am not encouraging you to do something that I'm not doing on my own. I absolutely want you to get educated. I want you to know what you're buying into. Believe in the companies that you're buying into. Okay, so with the market, the way it is, people, it, it's the way it is because people are selling because they're like, well, I need money. I need money, so what am I going to do? I, you know, um, I got to catch up on the electric bill, the gas bill, the water bill. I got to, you know, take care of this. I got to catch up on the rent that I didn't pay. Or some people have already caught up on those things and now they feel strapped. Now they feel strapped. They're like, man, I've, I've depleted everything I got. I paid off this. I paid off that. And they're like, what do I do? I'm like, well, I got these stocks. I'm just going to liquidate them. Okay. Then there's the other people who are seeing the, you know, uh, wonky things that are happening in tech right now. There's been a massive, massive, the last two months have been one of the biggest tech sell-offs in a long time. <laughs> I mean, really a long time. Even, um, it, it's just, it's been a long time since they've had a tech sell-off this big. Um, so it's, it's, it's really interesting just the way things are happening. But the thing that people aren't considering why it's happening they're not looking at the company and saying, oh, well, this company is going down because um, because it's, it's an unreliable company. I mean, it's, it's tanking. The company's done. It's out. No, they're just like, okay, well, it's going out, so I, I better sell. Same thing with Tesla. A lot of weird things that were happening with Tesla. And while all these weird things were happening with Musk and Tesla, the, the stock price was going down because some people, well, I'm not in bed with I'm not in bed with Tesla no more. I'm out. I'm done. I'm done. And as they were done, then it started going down. And so these other people who don't really know why it's going down, don't really know why those people chose to sell off. So they're like, well, I better sell off too because otherwise I'm just going to end up with nothing. People panic. People panic. So as they're panicking, they're panicking and selling off. What I'm going to tell you is to stop panicking. If you don't believe in the company, sell if you see a reason morally, um, if you've read something that has given you reason to intelligently believe that the company is not where you want it to be and not the company that you want to back anymore, get out. Absolutely. I am not one who will ever encourage or tell anyone, compromise your beliefs, compromise what you know, compromise yourself to make some money. No, that's not me. I'm not going to tell you to do that. So I'm going to encourage you to absolutely, if you don't believe in the company, but if you don't have a reason, you've believed in this company, you were backing this company, and then because of the big sell-off and the, in the, in the stock market right now, you're like, oh my gosh, I better get out while I can before I lose even more. Just hold fast, man. For real, hold fast. Hang tight. It's coming back. I want to reference two people. Two people that anybody who say are not intelligent or don't know what they're doing, they're just haters. And there are some haters. But first, I want to reference Buffett. Buffett, back in 2008, um, market was, man, <laughs> man, the market was tanking, okay? So the market was going down. The the economy was in a hole. You know, the the, the housing market, I mean, the the world, it was, it was just... We were like this, man. We were going down. And so in 2011, I think he was in an interview. In 2011, uh, he was in an interview, and it was really great to watch him. And uh, they asked him, they asked, they said, well, what did you sell back in uh, 2010? What did you sell in 20, 2008? What did you sell during these couple of years when the market was... And he said, I didn't sell a thing. Not one thing. I believed in those companies. That's why I bought them. And I held on to him because I believed in him. And he made a killing. He made a killing. While everybody else, he was like, no, you got to hold back. You got to sit tight and wait for the market to fluctuate. It's fluctuating. Give it time. You got to be in the long game. He's always been 100% about the long game. Okay. Now, the other one that I want to talk about is Kiyosaki. Now, Kiyosaki has been openly vocal about the fact that he's not a huge fan of the stock market. He likes other things, the things that are more tangible. Uh, he likes buying into real estate. He likes buying into companies, things he can put his hands on and know that this is a tangible thing that, you know, it's not, it's not valued based on what the, uh, the random, you know, everyday consumer is going to fluctuate it based on what they're buying and selling when they panic. Okay. But, you know, he's talked to different people about real estate and different things about, you know, and, and he talked to back in, um, the 
<laughs> the same the same span, 2008 to 2010. Um, at the end of 2010, he was making an incredible killing. He was like, I, and, and he talked about it just uh, about two weeks ago. He was like, look, I'm not wanting to, you know, be insensitive to other people who had it rough because I know a lot of people did, but they had it rough because they didn't know. Um, he got rich. I mean, he was already... He was already sitting on some fat stacks, but he stacked his portfolio even even more because he while everybody else was selling, he started buying. People started selling their real estate. People got in loans in over their head and they're just like, I got to get out. I got to get out because I can't handle this. So he was like, this is my chance to buy. Both Buffett and Kiyosaki about different markets, different opportunities said, while the rest are selling, you've got to be the buyer. And so what I want to tell you is while everybody else is selling and while the market looks a little wonky, you don't want to buy? Okay, fine. I'm going to tell you to buy. I'm going to tell you to be a bull in a bear's market. I'm going to tell you. But at the same time, if that's not you, you don't feel like that, just don't sell. You're selling out of panic. Stop panicking. Things are going to be okay. Things are going to be okay. If you don't believe in the company, get out. If you believe, what, what reason have they given you to change your mind? With that being said, I want to encourage every last one of you to take some time today, tomorrow. If you're going to dabble in the market, I don't care if it's real estate. I don't care if it's uh, in, in other companies, other businesses, or if it's the stock market or crypto. or I, I don't care. It does not matter. My, me and my homeboy, we trade in Forex. It, whatever you're messing with, take some time to read more and know more about it. Every day, allocate a little bit of time every day to learn more about what you're doing. Learn more about the market that you're, that you're, it shouldn't be a gamble. It should never, ever be a gamble. Yeah, things go wrong. Things are unpredictable sometimes and, and then you'll make a deal and things will go left. But if, if there's an, if you have do, done your, you know, research properly and you're informed, that's going to happen so much less often. So I encourage y'all to take some time, get, get educated, learn some more and, and let's just keep getting it done. Let's go win today. Today, let's go win. You know what I mean? So uh, be sure you subscribe, ding the bell, get your notifications. Stay tuned. Your boy's got more coming at you. Um, let's just get cocky and have a great day. It's going to be an awesome day. Later.